Gordon's been out here several times to tell you guys to stop telling that to anglers. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm just giving you the instructions that I'm giving. I know. Management. Yeah. Um, the warden's already come out here several times to talk to you guys about that, including your manager. Well, they didn't so, make and according to the warden, you know what he told me? He's having a hard time getting you guys to comply with him. And he's got to come back here to wrap things up with y'all. Well, I, I, I'll just pass on to you what I've been told. Okay. I haven't been told anything okay. different than what the, it's dangerous okay. to be out here when you're not playing golf. Oh. And that's what the problem yeah. is. Yeah, so, that's interesting. All we can do is warn you. Okay. And then, you know, I just have to report it to management. That's all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I got you. you. You understand it's a public lake, right? No. Yeah. It's a city. I'm licensed. I got my fishing license. It's yeah. a public lake. You know, there's a sign on the other side that says you can fish here. There's signs right there that says it's a public golf course and no fishing. Really? Really, where's that sign at? Because I actually recorded it. It actually says, no fishing, dusk to 6 a.m. Meaning you can fish here from 6 a.m. until dusk. Well, I'm not gonna argue with this dangerous person. I know, I, mean, I know you don't wanna argue. I know the law is hard. It's really hard to follow the law, isn't it? Have you ever, have you ever, I follow the law just fine. Yeah. But have you ever been so if you follow the law, then you would understand that trying to interfere with an angler is actually a crime, punishable by, by up to six months in prison. I'm a fisherman myself. Did you know that uh, a couple of your boys there from this last time that they did this to me have pending charges on them right now? They're facing jail time. I don't know. Yeah. They, no, nothing was passed on. You should probably ask them about that and ask them if the warden came and talked to them recently. Right. Yeah. Goodbye. Don't come, don't come and bother me again. Or I'm gonna call the warden. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna start with the Zeta. Oh, wait, let me make this weedless. Yeah, I got the jitters from dealing with him and I also had two cups of coffee I downed <laughs> right before coming out here. <laughs> so I'm a little wired. All right, I'm gonna start right here. So I walked up, I saw a couple sunfish. So let's see if there's a bass just maybe hanging out right here by the shore. people are going to learn we're going to keep fishing here legally and if y'all live in the area you really want to show your support for this cause for anglers rights then uh come fish legally 6 a.m you can come here and you can fish until dusk which right now sunset's around 8 35 or so i believe dusk is considered 30 minutes after sunset Hey, if, uh, as long as you stay out of the way of the golfers, yeah. it's, you're, you're all good. You yeah. fish the whole leg. Just if you see them right behind you, just get out of the way. And then when they hit, then go yeah. back in that spot. Okay? I, I understand. Like, yeah, I just I don't want you to get hit. Yeah. That public safety part can, of it. Can I ask what your name is? Jeff Ward. You're Jeff Ward, are you? The you're the director, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we okay. Want you, we want you to be out here and fishing. We just don't want you to get hit. Yeah, so yeah. If you Look. see the golfers behind you, just get out of the way. And then you can go back into that spot. Okay? Yeah. It's like... I've been, I, I just moved here. Yeah. Right. And this, this is now the third time someone's tried to say like, this guy's just straight up said, I can't fish here. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, I mean, they, I don't know why they say that. And I apologize for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can fish here. We have people fish it all the time. They just learn where the golfers are and they learn how to kind of dodge. Yeah. And, I, and, then, and then you're all good. And I don't fish where the signs are like, yeah, well, look, man, I'm, I'm almost 40 years old. I'm a disabled vet. I follow the law. So it's yeah. like, if, I mean, you can, we put that up there because people were parking. They would go up there like catfish. Oh, really? If you, if you walk down that hole, you can fish that bank and it's a good bank to fish because there's a lot of, oh. there's a lot of flow that goes through there. The original creek bed goes through there. Yeah. And so there, there's a lot of good fishing down that line. But again, if the, if the golfers are hitting, just, you know, get out of the way and then go back. And yeah. Fish, you know, it, I learned how to fish on this property. Yeah. When yeah. I was a kid. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I, I, I just learned how to stay out of the way of the golfers. And then, it's not that you, like, you can fish there, 
don't fish there when they're about to hit over your head. Yeah, yeah. And every, you know, every seven or eight minutes, another group's going to come up or whatever. So you just kind of learn how to dodge them, and then you're fine. Yeah, yeah. So I apologize for people telling you you can't fish. And, I, and I'm, I, I keep walking around normally. Yeah. And. And I have a feeling you're probably aware that the warden came out here uh, about two weeks ago. Yeah, he and I talked on the phone. Okay. We have a very specific uh, way that we handle people who will not comply. Yeah. Um, as long as you get out of the way of the golfers and then get back and fish there. I mean, that's what I tried to explain to the game wardens. Like, we're not telling him he can't fish there at all. It's just when the golfers are there, he needs to yield and then... Yeah, back. yeah. It was just... <sighs> The last time that guy came out, I was like, sir, this is a community lake and there's no posted signage right here. There's, yeah. I know where the posted signage is. Yeah. And he was like, no, it's not. So as soon as he started with that, I'm yeah. like, this guy doesn't even know the law. Yeah, and, it, and, you know? and, and, and my staff doesn't always handle things the right way and I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, as long as the, the, as, as long as the game wardens of the state is still stocking this, mm -hmm. it's on their registry. Yeah, yeah. And if we, if, you know, if we end that relationship with them, uh, I would still allow fishing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, because I think it's a great place, like especially for like a grandpa. Why would a grandpa want to take their four-year-old out to Belton Lake? You got drunks, you got boats, you got rocks all over that people fall into. And it's a little on. flooded right now too. <laughs> and it's, it's just dangerous, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. A dangerous thing to take a small kid to. Yeah. So it's a perfectly controlled environment for that. And and again, like I'm glad you're out here fishing. You know, as long as we as long as we yield yeah, to each like, other and all that. I can understand that there's probably you probably get some younger kids that are causing trouble. I totally get it, but it's like, I mean. I'm obviously a little older and I'm like, I'm staying just to the shore. I stay in the pat. Like, yeah. no, it's we, just like, it was just that last time was really uncalled for, you yeah. know? We, um, we, uh, we have the policy with you know, people will not uh, get out of the way when the golfers are, are there hitting. Uh, then we ask them to, you know, nicely to move over. Mm -hmm. If they won't, then we ban them from the property is basically what we do. And the city of Temple Police then yeah. is involved. So, yeah, yeah. But that we have a lot of people that fish it and we never have issues. Mm -hmm. So it's just... It just kind of... I mean, they told me they've been doing this to other anglers. I'm like, wow, you've been treating other anglers like this, telling them to leave and well, all this other stuff. They won't comply. Yeah. They're not, what but, they're not doing is they're not explaining the whole story. Yeah. And they're just... It just know, makes it sound like... Yeah. I get it. Like, especially with the, like, from my perspective, it, it seems like y'all, like, and I apologize, I don't mean any offense necessarily, yeah. but it's like y'all are running around here like a bunch of Nazis almost. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, like, I'm, I'm under, I understand the law. I know I'm under a regulated activity. I have my fishing license. You know what I mean? And it's like, when that guy approached me that last time anyways, which was like the second time that had happened to me, yeah. um, you know, he's like, you, you need to move. You need to move and it's like from my and i'm like dude this is a community lake it's a public park he's like no it's not and from that perspective i was just like okay this guy's already in the wrong yeah and it's like you're not who are you you're not a warden like yeah and a then, warden can come and tell me you know yeah. like hey i need your license and all that stuff and i'll comply right. like 100 percent. but it's we just may, i don't know and we may I, I don't know if we're going to continue our relationship where they they stock it mm -hmm. um I, I don't know because i my staff doesn't need to get confused on people who won't comply you know and so yeah, I mean, if you're if you're dodging the golfers and staying out of the way, it's not that big of a deal, um, and it it should be fine. Yeah, so yeah. That's where I learned I mean, to fish. Yeah, I I would just like to see. I mean, at least them just be like, hey, you can fish here, but just for right for like the next minute, can you get out of the golfer's way? Yeah. Like, there's a better way to approach it than just straight up come up and be like, hey, I need you to move. There's a reason like, why <laughs> I'm the general manager. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They just people just don't always handle things the right way. They they want to have their little point of power. Yeah, I mean, that's what the way I see it. it was like, man, like, because they had these little smirks on their face. Like, man, you're just getting off on power that you just don't have. It's like, I don't know. It, yeah. that's, but the last time, that really upset dodge me. Everybody, there won't be any issue. Yeah, and like I said, I, you know, um, and I, told the I stay right on the, the shore. The you came out, I told him, I said, I'll, I'll make sure I go talk to him. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate I mean, it. We, again, it's a great place to fish. I was actually, like, I'm glad you came over because, like, just this time now, yeah. that was the third time someone's told me well, not I to told fish. Him I said, he can fish here. He just has to comply with the way we do things. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like... I don't know why they keep telling people that they can't fish. I just... But. Well, I mean, you should probably let them know that, like, what a community lake is because they didn't even understand that. Yeah. You know, and it's like, this is stocked by the state. Like, the state probably gives y'all money for this, you know, no, to help with maintenance. They don't. They, they don't. It's just an agreement where they oh, come out and stock it yeah. and we allow people to fish. Okay. Even if we end that agreement, though, I'll still allow people to fish. Well, that would be awesome. I would appreciate you know what I'm it. <laughs> like, and, and them stocking it, I mean, those those little bait fish are getting eaten alive. 
like within the first week. So yeah, you know, yeah. I don't think the stocking because I mean, we've got. I've seen. The, I know the biggest fish ever caught out of here was caught way over on the side of the dam over there, and it mm -hmm. was 12.5. A bass or a catfish? A bass. A bass was over 10 pounds in this lake? Yeah, there used to be all, the place used to be covered with lily pads. Yeah. And I don't know what happened to lily pads, don't ask me, because when I was a kid, there were lily pads everywhere. I got back from college one year and came out and played golf, there were no lily pads. I don't know what happened, but. The pH of the lake may have changed maybe, a little. Maybe, yeah, but right off the edge of that, he dropped a worm right off the edge of a, off of the edge of a lily pad and got it. <laughs> he used to keep a record. Yeah. This Temple Country Club, they used to keep a record of the biggest fish. If they had a scale there, they weighed it. He got it back in the water before it before it expired. So, you know, he, there's some really good fish here. We've seen sixes and sevens quite often. You mm -hmm. know, we'll get pulled out of here. One of our, our maintenance guys, our assistant superintendent, fishes a lot in the evenings out here. And he's caught, you know, in the last year, he's caught a couple of sixes and sevens. Oh, nice. So, yeah, there's some good fish out here. Or whatever, so. I only caught one bass, and that was the last time I was here, actually. Yeah. And it was, he was like right there. Like in between those weeds yeah. in the shore, he was literally just right there next to the shore. Yeah. I saw him jump and I was like, oh, I'm casting right there. Yeah. <laughs> but he was let a little me, guy. Let me warn you about one thing. Yeah. From those reeds over there through the trees there, all down that bank line past that bridge that's over there. Yeah. That's the place where we see the most cottonmouths. Someone has told me that, oh, cottonmouths. I've, see, I've seen I've seen one here. Of, there's a lot of banded water snakes out here. I've seen them too. Thinks that yeah. Everybody thinks it's a cottonmouth, but we see the actual real thing on that bank facing the big part of the lake and i think it's because the natural drift of the water yeah and the wind is blowing things to them yeah so just it, it, don't get startled if you see it <laughs> oh i'm uh, four footer. I mean, oh yeah yeah i've seen them before out fishing and okay. you know otherwise we don't see them really anywhere else yeah you know we, yeah we see a lot of the banded water snakes i've seen some southern water snakes i've seen a bunch of water snakes but here the, the the train tracks there's a lot of dewberries and mice on that so you'll see rattlesnakes on the train tracks but mm -hmm. never out on the golf course yeah so there's not a whole lot to worry about where that goes. It's just the cottonmouths right there on that bank right there. Yeah. They just, they've always been there. When I was a kid, they were there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I, I apologize for the-, the Yeah, I mean, it's just, I just, the way I saw it was just what it was. You know what I mean? It was just, they don't really know. Yeah. They're kind of on this little power trip because they, I, you know, yeah. they're of mine while we run this. And I'm, and I'm also sure that some of that also comes from having to deal with like well, they're, mischievous, they're, mischievous like kids and stuff. Like, so I kind of get, you know, I yeah. get it, but it's just like, Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm a disabled vet. Like, I don't even work, and this is all I have is yeah. to fish, you know? And so that really just, like... Hey, if you get here at daylight, <laughs> I mean, because really the best fishing here is at daylight. If you get here at mm -hmm. daylight... Like at dot, or at the morning? Where, yeah, like right now it's getting light just before, right at 6. I was trying to get here a little earlier, but, but woke up late. Can, we had a, a guy who was an Army veteran. I haven't seen him in a long time. He used to come out every morning, mm -hmm. and he would walk this lake, and by 8, 8.30, he was, he was done. But mm -hmm. he, he had some success. And, and in, early in the morning... You know, you can get out and uh, you know get around. And there aren't as many golfers and all that stuff. So and yeah. Right now, when it's hot, there aren't that many either. So yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll. I mean, we'll, we we try to just coexist. Yeah, and, and that's and that's what I was. You know, it's funny because when I first moved here, you know, I literally just moved here in September. Oh, like yeah. so, and I I was looking at all the body of the water waters in the in the area because I'm like, man, I'm gonna hit them all, you know. And I looked this place up, saw it was Community Lake, and I'm like, yeah. okay, I and I'm already familiar with Community. Lake. You know, I fished them before. And, uh, you know, when I came down here and, you know, yeah. keep getting told, like, you got, you can't fish here, you got to leave or you have to move, you know, whatever. It's just yeah. like, yeah, you just, have to, you just have to move if the golfers are yeah. right there. And then, yeah, I mean, that's when I told the game warden, I was like, look, you and I both know that public safety supersedes your right to fish. Like we have to, we have to keep people safe when they're yeah. on our property. Cause if you get hit in the head by a golf ball, you're suing the city of temple, not the game warden. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it, that's why we're that's why we're so concerned about it. Yeah. But our staff just doesn't handle it all that well sometimes. So. <laughs> yeah. And you're right. We do get we do get a lot of you know pushback and that kind of thing, and it's just you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I, just please, yeah, please be safe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always keep my head on the swivel. You know what I mean? So. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you coming out because I was literally because that was the, that was another time that like happened. I'm like. You know what? And I was literally saying on my camera, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna go to the director or something. Yeah. So he came out because I was literally yeah, about to no, go I, talk to you, be like, look, man, can you just like? Yeah, and I've got, <laughs> I have to re I have to reiterate to my staff over and over again. Yeah. Just because they, they they used to they used to be fishing only at designated areas. Yeah. And 
I've tried to loosen that so that you guys have. Yeah, I mean, the only spot I've seen was along that fairway there, which I wouldn't want to be over there anyways because yeah. there's always someone I mean, on that the fairway. The designated <laughs> fishing area was basically behind the community center over there. Yeah. Along the bank line there. But I mean, if you're bass fishing, there's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot that you're going to catch along that line. So we, you know, we, I saw like, look, we got to, I want to, because again, when I was a kid, I yeah. was, you know, yeah yeah so, so we got to loosen this we got to make this a little bit more free for the bass fishermen now the catfish fishermen we just we get them all back there because that's about what you're going to catch over there yeah there's huge carp in here too by there the way are. i um like one of the like a few months back when i like one of the first few times i came here and i was i was bass fishing over by like i know if you come in on the other side and you go to like your right yeah. um there's like a little bridge there and it turns into a creek there yeah I, I could just see like like a hundred of them just hitting the surface eating the vegetation yeah. so i ran back to my jeep got some corn grabbed a different rod yeah. and i threw it out there and they were they're huge man they're like yeah, they are big. the first one i caught was like almost five pounds i was like oh my god yeah there's some there's some big ones and in the spawn they'll get up in these creeks and everything and they'll be rolling around in the mud and building their beds and all that stuff yeah there's yeah some big ones out here and i mean i we have had this water tested um, you know, if you want to keep anything and eat it, I, we've had this water tested, and when we got it tested, the company said it's better than Belton Lake. The water, really? Because it changes out so often. Yeah, because you so got that creek floods, like this right here running through. Floods, all the water goes out. Yeah. You know, so we get it changing out all the time. I always thought that with the drainage off the highway and all the oils and stuff like that, we'd have problems. But they're like, no, your water's great. So. Yeah, yeah that flow is keeping it fresh. Yeah, it's it's good. Uh, it, the, the fish are, should be good and healthy, and so. I know that over on Marvin Finn, which is a park back there that's also attached to the golf course, you can fish back there as well. And I haven't been over there yet, but I've, some I, I know it's there. over there. Oh, really? Yeah, there's some the, the really pronounced black stripe and the yeah. kind of football shaped body. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's some Floridas over there. I don't think these are all Texas. These are not, none of these over here. I think are Florida. But yeah. I could be wrong, but I've never seen a Florida. Come I think out here. I think the one that I caught here, like you know, last week or whatever. I think he was a spotted bass. He okay. was he was tiny and he was all broken up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I didn't look for the tooth, you know, in his mouth, yeah, but. Right. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, I appreciate well, fun, you, man. man. Thank and you. I'll, I'll try to get my staff to you know understand that we allow fishing, you know that they just have to coexist. Yeah, and, and like. You know, it is community like there's special restrictions, so maybe just let them know, like, hey, if you do see someone with like four rods in the water, yeah, that's illegal, and yeah. you can call a warden and have them, yeah, because it's a two rod, two rod limit. You can only take five fish, yeah. of any combination, but five fish completely max, you know, right. is the max, and I understand that. So we had a, we had we have had people out here net fishing before and all that. Yeah, Officer Sanchez, who I used to call all the time, he died from COVID during COVID. Oh. That's but too he bad. was a game warden that I had on speed dial. Yeah. Because I, I would catch people out here net fishing and that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. We'll have fun. Well, yeah, I appreciate Talk it. You're here. I think. Thank you, man. I appreciate sure. it. Oh, I got caught in the weeds there. It's all right. I'm weedless. Man, I really appreciate that. Oh, got one. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> He's small. But he's stuck in the weeds. Come on. Come on, can we get him? I gotta I wanna land him. I wanna land him. Come on, come on. I, mean, I can't see what it is. It's covered in. Alright, let's Yep. Oh, it's a little bass. Dude, that was so fast. Look at that, dude. Oh, he's covered. Alright, little guy. Let's get all this stuff off you and grab you by the little lip here. <laughs> well, how about that? Today's already turning out to be a good day. Director is uh, giving me the go ahead. And we got us our first bass. He's little, but hey, it's a catch. Let's go. Toss you back in there, buddy. Yeah, he's off. Let's go. Let's go. We're about to move spots, anyways. I just want to throw this a few more times here with this blizzard and see if we get anything i got a little bird's nest going on oh no we're good it's still recording right yep we're good Ooh. yep we got one there we go 
He's small. Come on, come on. Get him up and over. Hell yeah. All right. Well, guys, I said I wanted a fatty. We got a small one, but I just say I wanted just one more. And we got our one more. Come on, man. Here we go. Little guy. Like a half pound, bro. He's tiny. But hey, we got one. Must have been the little hits I was seeing. Off you go, buddy. 